Hello and welcome back to the Oaks. We are just going past field two and you'll see behind us and behind the trees the Zerion and the Cultivator. So finished cultivating that field. Uh, I think it was about half eight at night by the time I'd finished it. Um, so yeah, that job is all done. Um, you'll see we've got a trailer full of wheat and we are going to go and purchase the land where the chicken farm is, I guess you'd call it. Um, and then we're going to get some chickens. So hopefully the entrance is down here and I haven't completely messed this up. I don't think I've been... Well, I haven't been to this part of the map before. Looks like we can swing a right down here. Lovely. Right, so let's jump out. Get that gate opened. Bit of a puddle. So, the other thing I've done is I've installed sell price, sell price trigger and time saving stock check just because they're going to be very helpful. Um, because with this save we can. Uh, advanced through time and um, we haven't got the worry of loads and loads of animals to look after um, I just tend to forget so if something pops up to tell me then all good right so let's let that save we will go into the map and purchase where is it there we go this plot of land number 99 £103,000. Jobs are good. And now, if we just put on. There's the setting. There it is. Put the zone markers on. We can see where we need to be tipping. Quite like the layout of this. I guess what we should do first is uh, jump in and buy a few chickens. So just in the animal menu for the chickens and we're going to go with the older ones so 60 chickens is 3300 so okay now it can hold 1500 i am not going to buy 1500 chickens but what i will do is we'll get i don't know two three hundred i guess so i'll do that and I'll be back with you in a second. So we've gone for 500. Nice round number. So now what we can do is we can get rid of the F1 menu. Jump. We have to open this. There we go. Jump into the fence. And see if we can get ourselves a tip trigger. Probably not the best of uh, tractors to... Uh, attempt this manoeuvre with. Come on, give me a trigger. Oh dear. I think we'll do a loop. See if we can access it better from the other way. It's quite a cool little area down here. Plenty of grass there as well, actually. I wonder if we can uh, do anything with that. I think we own it. So that could be Another little plot of grassland we've got. So come on this time. Second time lucky. You come on. Let me see if I can find the trigger and I'll be back. So I'd forgotten that every time I go out of the game, these trailers uh, default back to tip side left. So yeah, my, uh, my fault. So we're in and we're tipping and they've not taken all of it, which I am mildly surprised at, to be fair. Okay. Fair enough. Well, that's good, I suppose. So how much have we actually got left in the silo? Loads. 67,000 litres of wheat. Bit of barley if we need to. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. So hopefully now they'll start producing us some uh, eggs but funny enough let's get out and just close the 
lid lid there we go we can also turn off the triggers again there we go markers even not triggers and we can go and stick this back into a silo and then uh, head down and continue with harvesting so down at field 83 and just getting the header attached we'll hop out and uh, shift the john deere somewhere out of the way well, i'm not sure exactly where we seem to be stuck on something not quite sure what maybe we need to back up a bit there we go better yeah look at that so i think we'll do a quick loop round and we can park it probably down this lane i don't think that's going to be a massive issue is it going to turn and are we gonna really <laughs> Uh, you got to love a header trailer like this. Come on. Get yourself around. There's one for you, Pete, going through the hedge. Oh, my word. <laughs> that couldn't have gone any worse if I tried, I think. Anyway, we'll... Uh, yeah, realism is key and all that lot. Where is it? Get out of it. There we go. Sorted. Right, that can stay there for a minute. Now, I've sent the fence just on uh, auto drive to empty the last bit of wheat out. Um, before we start the harvesting, actually, I was sent something the other morning, which is very, very cool. Now, let me find it, because it's going to be in Baylor's. And it is this one. So, Mark thought... Um, if you don't know him, um, cracking chap, um, does a load of uh, mod edits, creates his own, everything. So he has done me, where is it, this one? So, well, any of them really, but I'm quite liking the blue. Well, I'm loving the blue. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to drop the straw on this field and then we'll get it bailed using this one. And then we'll also give it a test on the next cut of grass so yeah thank you very much mr thor that is pretty awesome and was uh, rather cool to wake up to look at the blue hubs as well brilliant love it thank you very much mate so right let's crack on and do a bit of harvesting in fact let's first find the fence and get that to come to the right field this time so we want field number 83 and it is going to go to there so that's fine we can then jump back to here and set ourselves as field 83 weight there we go that's that sorted and then uh, we'll do the new holland when we need to but for now Let's fire it up and uh, make a start on getting these oats harvested. So first unload underway and uh, we're nearly at the top of the first headland. Um, we were about 95-ish percent full. I stopped because uh, I wanted to give auto driver at least half a chance of uh, getting to us before we were full. So that's all good though decent yield in places a little bit patchy but uh not to uh not to grumble at all so we can get the auger in fire up the combine and crack on a bit of a hazy morning on the oaks but uh luckily we're able just to crack on get the harvesting done now as i said the plan is to harvest this field and get it bailed we're going to need to lease a uh, auto stacker for round bales but that's not a problem i think then we're pretty good on 
everything else. We've got one more field to do, and then it's just the sugar beets. Quite looking forward to getting them done and getting our sugar empire underway. Now, just thinking how best to do this. I think we're just going to crack on, get the harvesting done, and then do the bailing. We won't worry about clearing the headlands first. I don't think it's going to be a major issue for us. Yeah, this width of header is certainly making light work of the field so far. I think it's uh, reasonably long runs, so not too much turning. So should be a reasonably quick job. So combine all emptied, and we are now running up and down the field got a GPS course set Noda 1549 at diesel production okay now what I need to do is and we'll do it when we get to the end of the run is just have a look at that and see if that is a good price or whether it's just telling me for telling me sake <laughs> I've never used the sell price trigger before so Still learning my way around it. I had to uh, look in the key bindings menu earlier to find how to actually open the menu in the first place. So, yeah, we'll uh, get to the end of the row. Be interesting to see how quickly we fill up now we're doing the longer passes. Headlands are always a bit weird to judge uh, the yield. Um, but, yeah, it's going okay. Well, we're nearly at 16, 17%. So, reasonably reasonably filling up reasonably quickly maps not looking too bad bottom left so yeah all good really so we'll get to the end of this pass and we'll uh, have a look at the sell price trigger so for me the key binding is alt and zero but then we can have a look at so the price is 1549 the highest is okay so now let's combine, so let me just show you, so canola, there you go. So if we now look at time saving stock check, see it says December, and then max price of 2,188. Now if we just, apologies for this, but yeah, so November, December time. Okay, I wonder then, do we need to change something for this? Because, hmm, maybe I need to, tell you what, I'll have a look at it and it's worth, you know, keeping it activated because, uh, yeah, like I said before, I do tend to forget <laughs> when the best price is for stuff. So that's fine, okay. So we can now turn the combine back on and head back down the field. So as per normal, I'm not sure what day this is going to release. So I'm recording this on Friday. And uh, that is normally the day that myself and Disturbed do multiplayer. But, you know, he's got things going on. And uh, I did last week. I've got stuff going on next week, so there might be a bit of a hiatus on multiplayer for a few weeks, but uh, we will be back to it at some point. So, if I can get this done, this might be Sunday's video. I do have another Attingham one all recorded. Uh, it just needs to be edited and put together into the fantastic videos that I normally produce. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, that's the plan. Now, next week, I'm hoping to get normal videos out. So, sort of like maybe Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But we'll see. Mondays might be dropped. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how things go with recording time today. And I will do my best to get as much out to you guys as is possible. So, 
yeah, that's pretty much it for an update from me. Now, I wonder whether it's worth unloading again or whether we do this run and then head back up and finish this section onto the onto the right of the screen now. I think that's probably a good shout. Get that bit done. And then we can concentrate on the rest of the field. Should easily make it to the end of this pass. So we'll do that. We'll do this little bit here. Turn around. Go and get that little triangle. And then get unloaded and cut in again. So had a bit of a brain meltdown before. Um, so if we go back into sell price triggers. They were set at guess roughly what the price is now so every time it changed or went up and down it was telling me so what i've been what i've done is gone into the um prices menu and looked at the highest number and then gone in and set that using these buttons on the side and then all you do is when you've got it at the right trigger price you click okay jobs are good and now hopefully that should um stop pinging up um, but as and when it does for different things so I've sort of disabled quite a few of these in fact can we there we go we can hide those ones um, so these are the ones that we're kind of interested in I don't think we've got any sorghum planted but uh, we can keep that one for now um, sugar beet we're going to be uh, putting into our sugar factory most of it I think depending on how much we get of course and eggs we haven't got any yet but at some point we'll get a uh, get a load of them and we'll be able to sell them so we want to know when is the highest price and um, depending on how we're doing for cash i'll leave that caveat in there so that's cool glad i worked that out because it was starting to uh grate a little bit whilst uh driving along and getting a notification every time the price changed so yeah that is that done we are gonna get this side done now i looking down the field I think there's probably going to be a little bit of a strip of shame but I'm not too fussed about that especially after the uh, haphazard way we were harvesting last time um, yeah all cool so I'll get this bit done and I'll see you when we're unloading probably I guess it's going to be the new Holland yeah I think it is so we'll call that in fact We'll get the auger out now, and that can be making its way to us so we can get unloaded. Well, it's not so much a strip of shame. Um, it's very strange in fast far sim. Farm sim, how the field of view and the perspective is uh, not set up, but how it is, just how it is, really. So looking down the header, you think, oh, it's only a little strip. Well, actually, it's... Uh, decent amounts of uh, field that uh, needed harvesting but not going to complain it's nearly going to be about another thousand litres ish there we go excellent now I think what we'll do is we will turn around and find ourselves another place to cut in and interestingly we got the Fent rather than the New Holland very uh, bizarre now I'm not quite sure what to do with the oats we've not got uh, horses um, I don't know if there's a like a cereal production maybe on the map Could do with having a look let's just flick some lines on for a second and see where we need to be positioning ourselves there we go back up a touch so it gives it half a chance of being in the right place when we do the cut in get the header lowered down and off we go so even though it's probably one of our smaller fields it's still deceiving as to how much we've actually got left to harvest but now I've said it quite a few times since we got this combine this header width, although it is problematic, granted getting it into uh, fields and whatnot and around the map, uh, it is 
a much needed upgrade and I'm very glad that we did it and auto drive and course plate are doing us an absolutely well, auto drive is doing us a grand job on the karting so yeah all good have updated auto drive and course play finally remembered to do it um so they're all up to date I haven't looked through if there's any new features or anything like that just uh updated them last night and stuck them in the mods folders so yeah jobs are good and we're getting a bit of a bounce on oh yeah <laughs> very <laughs> interesting yes and it's not quite even ground oh we've still got the beacons on they can go off that's the only thing with the led ones on these x9s is if you're not in you're not sort of here looking at them you don't see them but oh, that's my excuse anyway right enough rambling let's get this field all harvested and uh, crack on with some baling so just been emptied or part emptied by the new holland and auger can come in now whilst i was doing that i did take a look uh, at the possible sell points uh, and productions for oats now the one that caught my eye <laughs> was the i think it's haygate's flour mill so i had a quick uh, teleport down there and um yeah it's 250,000 pounds so we're not going to be going into flour just yet i don't think so we'll keep the oats in storage for now and then maybe in the future um, diversify into flower production or indeed possibly look at getting some horses relatively low maintenance um, yeah I think something to think about we haven't got a rush we've already started our chicken um, empire uh, the sugar one is not a million miles away from starting. We just need to lift the sugar beet once they're ready to harvest. And then that should be, hopefully, a steady income to uh, maybe fund more uh, branching out into productions. But we'll see. It's, uh, like I said, there's no rush. Got enough to be going on with. And, uh, yeah, so I'm happy with how things are going I do want to be able to uh, change equipment every now and again and use different types of things I think this is a good uh, save to be doing that on I think we're quite constrained on Attingham for funds um, and that one's more about Ace Plus and doing bits and bobs with that so yeah I think we'll uh, stick as we are for now and uh, press on with uh, getting our harvest done harvest harvest done and then we need to think about things to be planting uh, next year so just while we wait for the uh, carting tractors to get back to uh, unload the uh, x9 we are going to sort ourselves out the baler so let's go into this one we want i think i quite like the black gonna go with that one don't need a plate and i think for now we are gonna lease this there we go that should be right in front of us ah it is indeed excellent so i've sent the or i've told the case to come down here so when that arrives we can get it all hooked up and uh yeah then it's all ready to be doing the baling once we've finished harvesting the oats there we go the tractor has arrived so we're all hooked up and unfolded now we are set to 180 centimeter bales which is spot on let's turn it on lower it down and let's give this a whirl now this is so cool 
nice and steady make sure we're uh, getting as much in one pass as we can ah, got a little bit of uh, publicity <laughs> I'm loving this this is great and the pickup is bang on there we go so they're going to be what 11,000 litres excellent lovely I like that I think that might be <laughs> reversing over it I wonder if that's a bit of a tweak that Mr Thor has made I'm not sure but it also allows us to wrap 180 centimetre bales as well so that is pretty cool I'm loving this thank you very very much Mark Thor so have we got any carting tractors back yet I can't actually see we'll have to wait until we get down a bit further down the field in fact yes we have so we'll head down we'll do this run down the headland and then we'll hop back in and get the harvest in all finished well last pass down the field and uh, I think we're going to end up with about we've got a trailer gone off to tip now that one's nearly full so I reckon about 80 ish thousand litres of oats which is not a bad haul oats are uh, yeah not the best yielding crop um, although our yield has been pretty decent in this field so can't grumble at all but we'll uh, get to the end of this pass we can unload and then send the New Holland off to tip and then we can crack on and uh, see how many bales we produce off of this field I think um, need to check the straw level actually straw levels how much straw we've got in the barn over at the cows um, just to see as to if we keep any or whether it can go to a straight to a sell point or indeed possibly the BGA need to check the one that's uh, on the map but yeah we'll get it bailed up first and then we can decide what we're going to do with it so we're cracking on with the bailing and you'll see that we've got the fent back and it's got the I think it's Anderson auto stacker on the back so that's got course play running collecting the bales that we've made so far I have been and had a look at the store straw stock it's a mouthful and a half at the cow barn and we've got plenty there so I think what I'm going to do is uh, or what we're going to do is sell all of these bales um, the best price at the moment where is that worker going <laughs> the best price at the moment is at Fisher's bale sale so the plan is to just um, once the auto stacker is full we'll send it up there on auto drive and then once it gets there we'll jump in deliver um, send it back down here and, and sort of run it like that I think I'm not going to faff around today with trying to get auto drive to work with course plate because I couldn't get it to work last time so yeah throw my toys out the pram with it but anyway that's going to run away nicely now and pick up the bales that we've dropped picks up the 180 centimetre bales no problem so yeah all is good and uh, working mostly as expected and I keep saying it but this baler is brilliant it doesn't have any problems with um, the big clumps of straw where the combine stopped so yeah you know steady nine miles an hour is the minimum I think depending on how they go back down to nine how big the swath is but yeah it is cracking so I think we'll uh, push on do a bit more and I will see you when we sell the first load of bales I think so I know I said that I would see you when we sell the first bales but it's an eight minute journey um, from the field to the sell point so 
any time now the fence should be arriving there but I just want to show you how the baler copes with massive swaths like this no issue at all which is brilliant I love it um, I don't think men are going to get another full one but uh, as you'll see we have got a fair few lying around we'll have a tally up in a second as you can see as well when the swap reduces the speed picks up quite nicely so there we go no we're not going to get another full one never mind so how did we do for bales 55 55 at 11,000 litres that is some income right there so hopefully the fence is not far away from arriving at the sell point so we can see how much we actually make off one load of bales so no sooner had I stopped the recording and tabbed up here the uh, driver was reversing into position so let's back up a little bit and get this first load sold I'm assuming that they're just going to go in perfectly like that brilliant oh, I heard a pig then <laughs> there we go nice quick selling and unloading so 26 about 30k not bad at all so we'll go and pick up the rest and uh, I'll see you on the last load I reckon well we've got the last load of bales and I was riding along for a few of the uh, or well, the, the last delivery we did and uh, I have never been to this area of the map and it looks amazing now I'm steering with my random useless fat book in my hand so apologies if it's worse than normal but we've got the sheep we've got the pigs in here bales stacked up we've got horses over there and we've got cows just it, the attention to detail is fantastic I just yeah I love just when we go somewhere new just riding along and taking in the scenery uh, off the map and it is so well put together it really really is so before we unload now today's random awesome useless fact is a bit of a childish one but hey it caught my eye so the fart bubble of a blue whale is so huge it could enclose a horse there we go and uh, that is the useless fact for today let's uh, get these bales sold i'm such a child sometimes but uh, yeah so we'll get these sold this is then the last job done for today so there we go tip it up back up just a little bit and then unload and what have we ended up with another seven eight and a half ish thousand pounds so money's looking good again really pleased with that Bent needs a repair though by the look of it so no doubt that is going to eat into it but that's where we're going to leave it for today thank you very very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed the episode if you have leave a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one Take care.